Hello everyone, my name is Oscar and today we're going to talk about the graphics or the rendering pipeline. Yesterday someone uh, asked me about how, the, how does the API OpenGL or even WebGL communicates with the hardware and um, I mean I elaborated, I explained but this guy didn't quite understood me so I was I'm gonna. Um, I mean, I decided to make a, a more visual presentation out of it, just for the sake of it. So before I get started, I would like to recommend a, a YouTube channel that has helped me a lot, quite a lot. It's called the Benny Box. Um, here it is. Uh, as you can see, it has a, a lot, tons of great tutorials on 3D game engines, uh, OpenGL. Uh, programming and you know like computer graphics it, it even has a Wolfenstein clone so it's actually pretty fun uh, the Benny Box it I mean it has helped me a lot so it's recommended to you guys interested in computer graphics so what does graphic pipeline is I mean at a the very the most common uh, definition is a sequence of steps used to create a 2D raster represent, representation of a 3D scene. Um, plainly speaking, it's how does the accelerated hardware, means the GPU, uh, conveys to port your 3, 3D scene into your monitor, into your screen. Um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna try to simplify in three steps. What does the GPU, what what does the hardware does? And um, the pipeline mainly does three things. First of all, it triangulates um, the data. It converts everything into tri triangles. It interpolates between vertices, vertices. I'm sorry. And it does as it does all this in a multi-threading environment it, meaning that it's um, uh, it's taking a lot of processes at the same time means I mean a lot like millions <laughs> so okay let's let's take a, a look a more in-depth look about the whole um, graphics pipeline so this is it if comes from the ZPU to, to the GPU to the monitor. I'm not sure why I can get the label here, but... So yeah, the first thing I, I want to talk about um, is data. Um, your graphics pipeline is going to take data. Pure, as the as far as the CPU is concerned, it's just pure zero, zero and once a binary data. It could be anything. It could be an operative system, it could be a Word document, it could be anything. Uh, for example, models, images, textures, whatever, whatever. So, if that data makes sense, we're gonna pass it on, we're gonna process that data into something called the per vertex processing. Um, this step is gonna take that data and analyze it and process it, and if that's if that makes sense, it's gonna um, take the input of the vertex shader and create um, po these little, little points in in three D space, in the yeah in the three D space called vertexes. Um, here we're gonna es establish our clipping range, our eye projection, our world. Um, projection yeah or word matrices and see where our vertexes are positioned in the 3d space after the points have been processed and merged with the vertex shader um, we're gonna go to the primitive assembly this step is uh, mostly ignored because the next step is where we we're going to connect those dots into triangles the GPU is going to try to connect them and this primitive assembly is a pre-calculation of 
uh, triangles, quads, lines or points. So the next step, the, the step where the points are connected, it's called rasterization. rasterization. I'm so sorry, <laughs> it's a long word, uh, nothing to be afraid of. It's just a really simple step where our 3D calculations of vertices in the 3D space is converted into a 2D raster. You saw that on the first slide's definition. Um, a 2D raster, meaning um, we have now a set of pixels. And now the GPU is going to work with pi pixels. Then uh, the pixels get a treatment called multi-sampling and smoothing. After we have a, a set of pixels uh, dri driven by our data, we can now go ahead into the fragment processing. What the fragment processing is going to do, um, I mean, I'm sorry, the fragment shader is going to do with our pixels, it's going to give them uh, anything that we have established in the fragment shader, meaning textures or colors or normals or speculars or, or depths or whatever we have implemented into the shader, it's going to be applied into the pixels, into the rasterized pixels from the shader, from the vertices we have drawn in 3D space. So it's getting there, it's getting there. Lastly, our fragment process, it's going to store our output, our treated pixels into the frame buffer. Um, our frame buffer is going to store the image in pixels already with the vertex and fragment shader into, yeah, into the frame buffer. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so recurrent, but um, I'm also understanding this, this graphic pipeline. So I think this step uh, you're more familiarized with it um, whenever you're playing a game you can check out the frames per second uh, those frames are referring to the frame buffer that is happening in the screen um, this this entire process it's a multi-thread process in, meaning that this this all steps that I just talked about happen um, in parallel they happen really fast in parallel they do not they they are not linear uh, they're happening as we we were talking oh, I'm sorry what as we were talking they the GPU it's a multi-thread environment meaning that we can have a, a, a process a vertex shader process while we have a fragment shader processing here so it's happening really fast I'm speaking about millions of, of processes <laughs> at a time at a second so yeah um, I'm going to try to exemplify using an animation toolkit called Maya, Maya. I use it a lot to model and animate um, I want to take a look at uh, well, take a look at this. This is a OBJ uh, file format uh, format call, called OBJ at Wavefront. It is a Dragon uh, 3D model out of the Stanford 3D Scan library. Those uh, there's a lot of numbers here. <laughs> this is a vertex, and this is a vertex normal. So this I open it with a text edit editor. Uh, to see the incoming data as I was talking about and then once you get in into a, a rendering pipeline you get I'm sorry you get this um, sorry you get this these are uh, points in 3d space uh, being calculated at a uh, with the graphics pipeline that we we just talked about, um, let me get get this. Yeah, it's being calculated 
um, every time I rotate the camera or move it, uh, this all these uh, points are being calculated in my viewport uh, as I speak. <laughs> So it, as, I, as I was saying, it is a multi-thread uh, process. It takes a, lo a million, of, a lot of calculations, millions of calculations on a second basis. And uh, yeah, it finally uh, gives us our, oops, it's gonna crash. Um, gives us our uh, fragment shader processing to render our image into our screen. As pixels so yeah I don't know why it crashed but I'm just gonna continue talking so I hope you guys understood uh, a bit more about the graphics or rendering pipeline uh, I know it's not really covered like in depth but I mean it, it can give you a pretty well understand um, yeah it can get you to understand a bit more um, how does your computer work um, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, hit me up if you have any question here are my so yep yeah, later on